New details are emerging about Vester Flanagan, the former TV reporter who shot and killed a TV reporter and a cameraman in Virginia during a live broadcast on Wednesday. While mall owners in Moneta, Virginia replaced the floorboards where Allison Parker and Adam Ward fell dead, former co-workers recall Flanagan's frequent angry outbursts. Dan Dennison, the news director of WDBJ when Flanagan was fired two years ago, talked about Flanagan using his professional name, Bryce Williams. Bryce seemed to have a, a long history that predates his time at WDBJ of being a professional victim. He was victimized by everything and everyone and could never quite grasp the fact that he was the common denominator in all of these really sometimes serious interpersonal conflicts that he had with people, that he was the, the source of it. Another news director, Don Schaefer okay. of XETV you, in San Diego, says things started out well when he hired Flanagan in 1999, but then it all went downhill. He uh, was threatening people, had some physical confrontations with a couple of people, and uh, at, at one point became such a distraction that we finally had to terminate him. Around Flanagan's childhood home in Oakland, California, people tell a different story. Among them, high school friend Chris Dobbins. That was so out of his character. Uh, for what he, he was such a nice guy, everybody was friends with everybody. Flanagan's cousin, Guynell Smith, didn't want to appear on camera. She says she knew Flanagan as a normal kid. Honestly, I can't say because, you know, if you haven't seen a person in a long time, you know, people change. So mm -hmm. I, I don't know, but when I knew him, he wasn't like that. Flanagan took his own life while fleeing police on Wednesday, hours after he killed Ward and Parker. Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press.